Continue, please. This is my chapter. Bond finally reaches the control room lined with blinking computers and control panels, only to come face to face with none other than Redwood Rock Spree. Oh. He's dishevelled and enraged, holding Sophia with a pistol aimed at her head. Mm, she's very unlucky. Mm. Such a shame, James. We could have been great friends, you and I, living out our centuries together. Hang on, Roxbury wanted to live forever with James. Well, yeah, I thought it'd be nice in an ideal world. Oh, that's desperately lonely. Well, I could never be friends with a man like you, Roxbury. You know, I'm terribly afraid to inform you, old boy, that history isn't particularly kind to men who play God. Roxbury slowly aims his small pistol at Bond's chest, but at that very second, Sophia breaks free, wrestling the pistol from his hand. Now, James, shouts Sophia as she dives for the control panel. James crash tackles the now disarmed Roxbury, driving him from the control room and out onto the catwalk beyond where he stumbles and falters. Bond hastens in retreat as Sophia slams her fist down on the control panel, sealing Roxbury shut in the vast chemical chamber. Roxbury's new prison begins to quickly fill with the fumes from the huge vats of eternity serum below. Ah, Hubris, thy name is Roxbury. The man who would have lived forever now faces his own extinction. Roxbury steps closer to the thick perspex, reaching into the breast pocket of his jacket. Well, I hope you're prepared to meet your maker, Roxbury. Roxbury's voice crackles over the intercom. I'm not quite sure my maker is prepared for the great ordeal of meeting me. And with that, he reveals his silver-plated lighter in a room now filled with toxic, highly flammable gas. Redwood Roxbury delivers his final blow. And I'm realising the powder keg before them, Bond and Sophia sprint from the control room down the long corridor as a fiery explosion engulfs Roxbury and his once great monument to humanity. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for fact check. Yay! What, that's it for Roxbury? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Now, Brandon, last episode, you said that Spain wasn't technically a country anymore. Yes, I stand by it. You do stand by it? Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry to have startled you, dear boy. My name, as you may know, is Redwood Roxbury. But you may call me Redwood. Jesus, you all right? What happened? Well, you see, I'm not entirely sure. I was somewhere else, and then I woke up here. Where is here, exactly? Sounds like a big night. Um... 
Well, you're in Parramatta, basically. Parramatta, basically. That's amazing. Yeah, so if you just take this path down, you got the oval there, it's the train station. This device of yours, is it some kind of two way? Smartwatch. Smartwatch. A miraculous invention. I don't want to trouble you, but may I well, take a closer uh, look? What are you doing? I'm somewhat of an inventor myself. No. Uh -huh. No. Shh. No. Stop. There's a sick fascination in the pit of each man to prolong their creation, although nobody can. A tale of a villain with vials brings troubles and trials. He enters our world via MP3 files. He's out of their minds. Ties that bind